Is Bobby Dusenberry here or is she over there? She's not here yet. Okay, anyway, Bobby gave me a book that somebody wrote. I can't remember. Warmath is his last name, but it's a book and it's called Dust Bunnies. And this, the, I, that was the original title of this. I just got the book, you know, this morning. But that was the original title of this. Ooh. <laughs> that means nothing, really. <laughs> The new title is Saturday Cerebellum. Dust bunnies form gangs and lurk in the corners. Chaos and clutter close in. The implements of war against filth wait to be called to action. Leaning casually against the wall, Mr. Clean whispers to the Kenmore, soliciting a blowjob. The general is daydreaming. She starts a box made of blue duct tape for no particular reason. She must label it with exactly the right pen that takes an hour to find. The duct tape is all used up, defeated. Is a trip to Lowe's in the strategy? The general is gone AWOL. A flea hops a ride on her ankle and the general writes the lines to Chelsea Hotel in the dust on her desk. The house remains in chaos. She is losing the war. The implements of destruction are impotent. She writes a poem about it then edits a drag queen's memoir. The flea sucks her blood. <laughs> Afternoon creeps in on little cat feet and leaves a trail of litter throughout the house. The general needs to dye her hair. She will dust after she dies. She stops. She will die tomorrow, changing the battle plan. But she glues flowers and frogs to flip-flops. It's fun to glue flowers and frogs to flip-flops. Cat hair swirls around like cyclones, carrying the fat flea away. The general is lost in action. The avocados were too ripe. The general made guacamole. <laughs> she is still out of duct tape on the first day of hurricane season. She needs to count batteries. When does Lowe's close? The general must requisition supplies. The afternoon wears on like a bad lover who won't quit, even though you've fallen asleep. Perhaps there is a time for a nap, but the sheets are in the wash and the bug spray hasn't dried on the mattress. <laughs> Mr. Clean is bored. The general should attack the dust before it morphs from bunnies to foxes. Little Foxes was a movie. She decides to see what's on TV and the house is in chaos around her. Morale is low. The shiffer rope threw up the clothes that don't fit. It binged and purged chunks of cloth in a puddle on the floor. The general died while clutter wreaked insurrection. She checks her email, but Oprah has not replied, the bitch. <laughs> and it's too soon for another rejection from Cy Safransky at the Sun. Cy Safransky at the Sun. Cy Safransky at the Sun. Who Glued flowers and frogs on flip-flops. The general has gone mad, and the bunnies are growling. They scared the cat. Fleas, like little cowboys, ride the cyclone. The general must mop the floor. <laughs> there is the plan of action, then the Kenmore will suck the cyclones while still being solicited by Mr. Clean. The general hasn't called anyone's name here in a while, so she picks a number from her contacts. She'll just talk for a little bit. She'll have some wine. She throws a white dish towel over her shoulder. The general surrenders. <laughs>